It is all a fucking lie. Like, be fucking for real. Ooh, I've been watching you. Welcome back to another video. It's your girl Shaded by Jay. If you are new here, welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my makeup and my little slick bun. I'm going to be talking to you guys about like my social media cleanse. I'm going to be talking to you guys about just things in general. Y'all know how we do on this channel. I'm going to be ranting. So sit back, relax. So let's get right into it. So as y'all know, I did like a social media kind of like cleanse um for the new year i just removed twitter that's it but i still have my tiktok and i still have instagram so i was on tiktok and people were sending me a tiktok video from a clip of a reality tv show that i did almost maybe four or five years ago now a lot of y'all was like oh my god i did not know that was shaded by jay uh, uh. and yes y'all a few years ago i did a reality tv show because at the time that it was pitched to me it was pitched as if it would help grow my brand and my business along with the other people who were on the show as well however when that person tagged me into those clips i was getting like so much negative comments like oh my god jay's a brat jay's a bad friend like just a whole bunch of negative shit that people were saying when the video first when the um series first came out on youtube period so when the show first aired it was kind of like method acting so basically when you get on there they'll tell you okay do this do that but i kind of like walked on the show kind of like blindsided so when i got on the show they'll be like okay jade walk in and do this and it will get the reactions from like other people vice versa so before filming the show i actually never had any issue with the manager me and the manager didn't have issues after the show what y'all gotta understand is reality tv is made for entertainment and at the time i thought i was just gonna be on there promoting my brand and just showing like the behind the scenes of my friendship at that time which that just wasn't the case so when the show aired it was aired for me to kind of look like something that I'm not for the viewers entertainment and me and my friend at that time even went live and, and spoke on that I did not like the way that the show portrayed me to be especially because again that was not my reality that was not real events in my life that was for entertainment and I'm just going to be speaking from my behalf not anybody else's but on my behalf I can say that that was not my reality or my truth or events that were actually real that were going on so in the comments people was like Jade is a brat um Jade this Jade is not a good friend you know all this fucking bullshit because I never spoke on this before I never cared to like I've been in a really good space in my life and that was so many years ago I just never felt the need to speak on it but anyways people was in the comments coming up with their own scenario as to why I'm no longer friends with the individual no more and it is all a lie first of all I've never spoke on this because people are gonna make up rumors when you when people don't really know shit about you or they don't know why a certain, why you stop being cool with people or why you're no longer in a relationship or why anything, when you don't give people something to talk about, they make up their own fucking scenarios. And people are gonna run with whatever lie sounds more entertaining. And that was my case. I feel like because where I'm at in life right now, I have a daughter, my business is flourishing. I decided to leave that chapter of friendships and that chapter of my life in that time to better myself and become the woman that I am today. So in the midst of that, the people that I love were wrapped up into the scenario of why I may not be friends with that individual no more. And again, that is all a lie. When the devil can't get to you, he will try to get to the people closest around you. And that's why I just felt the need to speak on this because I can't control what people think about me. I can't control rumors and stuff that are being made about me. However, it is my job to protect the people that I love. Like this is something that I signed up to do, you know, do YouTube, do social media, do those type of things. And I just hate that in the midst of all this, the people that I love, like my boyfriend had to get carried into these lies and rumors as to why I'm no longer friends with this individual. It is all a fucking lie. Like be fucking for real. I no longer wanted to be in that space in those friendships anymore for my own reasonings, for me to get further where I'm at right now in life and to really just continue to walk in my path and reach my goals. 
So it was just really irritating me that like people was coming up with fake ass stories, trying to make entertainment out of it. And like I said, it affected the people that are in my life today, my friends, my significant other. Those rumors affected people that are in my life today, which again is all a fucking lie. And that's why I'm clearing it up. I kind of wish that I fully understood how reality TV works before doing it because I feel like it just created a negative narrative about me. So many people were kind of like shocked that that was me. They was like, oh my God, like I did not know this was Jay, blah, blah, blah. Don't get me wrong. Depending on what type of scenarios I'm in or what type of situations or certain people that I'm around, it will bring out a side of me. I am no longer in a space where I'm provoked or that I'm, I'm no longer in a space with people where I'm provoked or it brings out a side of me that is just not calm and like at peace. And that's why I decided to leave that chapter in my life. And like I said, this has now caused people to come up with their own assumptions as to why I'm no longer friends with certain people. And it is all fucking lies. It pissed me off seeing that shit in the comments because it wasn't just about me. It was pertaining to my boyfriend and pertaining to people in my life today. And that's where I draw the fucking line. People are gonna run with a narrative or a rumor that sounds more interesting. And because I don't care to speak on the real reason why I decided to leave that chapter in my life because it's not a big of a deal, that was a personal choice that I decided to make for me and the path that I'm going, it really bothers people to where they wanna come up with a more interesting story. And because I didn't speak on it for so many years, you know, people just ran with that shit. But I feel like after I speak about this today, like that's it, that's all. I enjoyed doing that show in that time, in that moment, because I thought that was gonna be something great for me. However, afterwards, I seen that it was a mistake for me to do that show because it jeopardized my character. And this is exactly why I did a social media cleanse. People are so entertained by negativity people are so entertained by whatever lie or rumor sounds more interesting people don't really care about the fucking truth like you really have to have tough skin with being on it because you could wake up today or tomorrow and a lie is being made about you or you could wake up today and tomorrow and see some negativity that may affect your whole day so i feel like everything happens for a reason because if I didn't do my cleanse right now, I feel like I would be in a different headspace. And you know, I might get the Twitter, feel like I need to explain myself. I don't need to explain myself. I'm in a very happy place in my life. I have my beautiful daughter. My business is flourishing. My YouTube channel is flourishing. I'm in a happy relationship. I've been with my boyfriend for years, for years. And I've never had any issues in my relationship in regards to with my friends or family, nothing of that nature. Everything has been going well for me. I don't wanna keep reliving a chapter in my life where I'm no longer at. I'm no longer on that show. Um, like I said, I was super young when I did that show. I wish everybody on that show the best. I wanna see everybody prosper. Since I've done the show, I've been prospering, really finding my true self. And that's important with cleansing as well because when you are healing and you're at peace, you will respond to certain situations from a different light. Even like in the comments, like people was calling me like an opportunist and stuff because of certain group of friends that I have now. It's like, I cannot help that I'm flourishing in life. I cannot help that God is bringing people into my life who can help me with where I'm trying to go or where I need to be. I cannot help that. That does not make me an opportunist. Opportunities present me because of where I'm going with myself. I can't help that. When I did that show, that was with a childhood friend that I had. At that time, me and that friend were on a come up together. My bad, y'all, my camera died. But like I said, like I've been so quiet for years. I was like, you know, I just let people think whatever, build whatever um, type of perception that they have of me. But the truth is the truth. And I, like I said, I'm just here to clear up whatever narrative or whatever lies that y'all think as to why I'm no longer friends with that individual anymore is all a fucking lie. I know why I decided to walk away in that chapter of my life. Anything pertaining to my boyfriend, my current friends, or whatever y'all think is the reason why we're not friends anymore is a fucking lie. I'm a grown ass woman now in a, in a different space in my life. And I just don't want to have to keep talking about that. Again, y'all, that was not my reality. 
those scenarios were not real this is my truth keep in mind when we filled the show it was not even in chronological order it was not true to time anyway um i would walk in like for example with the scene of like the lip glosses i would walk in and they would be like, okay jade act like you're gonna set up your stuff right here blah 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 and then they'll tell monique which was the manager like okay go over there and say this to jade so that's how it was portrayed that's that's how they wanted it to be portrayed the internet is not a place of always positivity and, and love and it's very important to if you are creating content or if you want to use social media to grow your business or whatever you're using it it's important to learn how to deal with negative comments and negative people because in all actuality people live off of being miserable people live off of negativity because they are unhappy where they are in life and i feel like for people in the comments that you know we're speaking on me and speaking on rumors and speaking on how it looked on the show that's only because of how the show was put out and people are only going to judge what is put out there so be very mindful of the things that you partake in because once it's on the internet people are now going to have an open opinion on it like i said when i did the show years ago i i was not thinking like this you know i was not thinking that it would be into a negative light i'm like okay i'm doing this show with my friends at the time this is going to help my business like i would have never thought that it would have got like that and people really couldn't believe that's me though don't get me wrong when i'm pushed to a certain type of edge yes a different side of me comes out but again y'all don't see that side of me on my channel because my channel is for positivity my channel is for fun my channel is for people who are trying to grow find inner peace within themselves trying to become a better woman like i'm now a mom i'm taking my business way serious i see that my youtube is helping so many people there are so many people on the internet already posting negativity there's so many people on the internet that do vlogs there's so many people on the internet that do um boxing like everybody already does that but when you watch my youtube videos i can assure you for a fact that after you watch my video you either feeling motivated you either feeling understood i mean you either leave feeling understood you 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 leave with a laugh like you feel light or feel better after watching my videos and i know that that's what separates my channel from other people's channel so I didn't never felt the need to get on the internet or my channel and speak about negative things because that's not what I'm for. This channel doesn't create that type of space for me to where I have to, you know, be that kind of girl because I'm no longer in a space like that anymore. Like when Nikki say, I'm never too ill to speak. I'm always gonna speak to my pretty fly bitches. Like, yes, that's what my channel is about. I'm speaking to the fr pretty fly bitches that's trying to do shit with themselves, trying to, you know, become a better woman. That's what my channel is about. And people just be so mad when they see you growing and becoming a different person. Like you don't have to be the person you was years ago. I'm very much still the same girl. I'm just healed. I'm just at peace. I'm just in better environments for myself and for my brand and for my channel. Like that's the only different thing about me y'all. That's like if you were in an environment where you constantly had to struggle or fight for your life. When people see you in a new space in life where you don't have to struggle, you don't have to fight for your life, you you calm, you at peace, you feeling good, you feeling yourself. People gonna think, oh, she changed. No, baby, I never changed. My environment changed, so it doesn't require the same me. Y'all don't y'all gotta understand. The more you elevate in life. And, and the more people you get around who are for you, it's gonna require a different you. You're not gonna go back to the old you. Those old ways are not gonna come out of you because you're in a different space, in a different environment at that time. The only way you can grow is by elevation. The only way you can grow and become a better person is by changing your environment. If I would be the same person that I was four or five years ago, then there's something wrong with me. If y'all are the same exact person that y'all was, running with the same people y'all was, and they're not serving you any good or not serving you any purpose four or five years ago, then something's wrong with y'all. But I love y'all so much. To those who support me, to those who love me, to those who are helping my channel grow, thank y'all so much. I love and appreciate y'all so much. Like, speak my truth because I feel like at this point, you know, it's gotten out of hand. You know, I try to do it the Kardashian way, you know, let a rumor die down. But when it's pertaining to my family, 
my friends, my men, because I don't play about my men, but sometimes you just have to clear shit up, okay? Um, but to change subjects a little bit, like Jackie Aina, like I seen her talk about social media as well, and you know, saying how like some people be so miserable, like they'll watch other people's Instagram and stuff and be like, oh, that's not real, or their life is not that perfect. Actually, some people actually are living their life how they really post on social media. People are not always going to post when they're going through a struggle, or people are not always going to post when they're going through a rough time. We're human, we all go through it. When you're in a negative space in your life and you don't know how to control those emotions, and you watch other people doing well, you'll tell yourself anything to make yourself feel better. And I feel like that's what a lot of people are doing on social media now. They are in miserable spaces or they're unhappy with their lives so they believe that other people's lives can't be that good. And I'm here to tell y'all, that is a fucking lie, okay? Sometimes people actually post real shit. Okay, sometimes that is people's real lives, unboxing, traveling, doing all those fun things. Just because that's something that you cannot obtain at that time does not mean that you will never get it. Or that doesn't mean you should be hating on the next person that's living their life like that. Be happy for them. Understand if somebody can do that, you can do it too. You know, that's why I said for me, when I took a break from social media, I would be overly motivated to where it would kind of make me forget about the things great that I have going on in my life. I kept chasing after more instead of actually being in the moment and being grateful for what I have because I see so many people doing wonderful things on social media. Of course, yes, I know some people do it for clout. Yes, I know some people get on there and lie, clearly. Like, I know this already, but at the same time, when you are working on yourself and healing within yourself and figuring out the root, problem and changing the circumstances around you you look at shit so much differently you become a different person heal yourselves okay if that's you i'm not speaking down on nobody if that's you and you feel like that social media is affecting you to where you feel like you're not doing enough or you feel like you can't be happy for others take a break look around into your real reality see what you have that makes you happy tap into that and if you have problems in your life that you need to fix Tap into that shit right now and change your circumstances. And this is why I decided to share my story time in the beginning because I had to change my environment to get to the woman that I am right now. I still have many ways to go, but I'm so fucking proud of myself because four or five years ago when I did that reality TV show, I didn't have shit that I have now. I didn't have my home. I didn't have the friends that I have in my life right now. I did not have the healthy relationship with God that I have right now. I didn't know how to deal with certain situations. I was very naive to a lot of things. I've learned so much about myself. I learned so much about healthy friendships. I learned so much about just being a better woman in my relationship. I learned so much about not settling. I learned so fucking much. I have y'all to do the same so i'm gonna close this video out i'm gonna just finish my makeup i know this was supposed to be like an entire little makeup look but my camera's about to die i love y'all so much hopefully this video helped anybody that was confused or wanted to believe false narratives at the end of the day i know i can't change everybody's perception of me or i can't make people believe the truth but one thing about me baby i don't lie and i speak my truth okay so i hope you guys have a great rest of your day make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video